Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Dondre Brown, 1428 Financial Wellness, the financial facilitator. Here to bring you reaction videos because my goal is to bring you what you need and give you what you need so that you can do what you need. So I have a reaction video. Um, I've been doing a few of D1. He's a really dope artist. Um, I'm coming to learn his passion, his purpose. He has a lot of good videos, some that hit harder than others, um, some that kind of hit you here because, I mean, it's real. He, he's telling the truth and what he's saying. But more importantly, he has some good information. So I'm doing a reaction video uh, titled Being a Middle School Teacher While Rapping. The only reason why I'm really doing it is because um, I see that it says middle school teacher. And when I was on my uh, career path to, to teaching, I wanted to teach in a middle school or high school. Um, it didn't matter. Um, I ended up teaching in college. I actually teach classes um, at a college. But... I'm just interested to see what he has to say because my passion and heart is always with uh, being a teacher. So let's jump in. It's Southern Smoke, Southern baby. Smoke, baby. Southern Smoke, baby. First things first, I was a rapper before I was a teacher. I started rapping right around Hurricane Katrina. That's way back in 05. Um, I was a student, you know, at LSU, you know, like just getting in college at that time. That's when I started rapping, is when I went to college. I didn't start teaching until I graduated. And the thing was, teaching just made sense. Like, I wanted to have a record deal when I graduated and just be a full time rapper. That's what I wanted to do. When March of my graduating year hit, I was like, I'm probably not going to have a record deal by the time I graduate. Therefore, I need to get a real job. Like, that's when reality hit me. And I started applying for all these jobs online and filling out apps. And you know how it is, man. That stuff, you got to have connections. And I had been passing up internships my whole time in college to do music stuff. I had good internships, marketing internships, business internships. I was passing them things up left and right because I wanted to go work at a radio station to make connections. I wanted to go work. I worked in New York, you know, at a, uh, at a management firm, a big management firm in New York. So did that type of stuff. Like that's, that's the type of stuff that, uh, that I was doing. So I didn't really have that many options um, in my mind. That's tough. So how far do you chase your dreams, right? What do you sacrifice and give up on in order to chase your dreams? That's, who that's tough. Major, and I said, well, if I had to get a job about something I just am passionate about, even if I didn't go to school for it, what would it be? And I said, you know what, teaching. I really like working with kids, and I'm always talking about wanting to make a difference and do something positive. Why not go affect the next generation, you know? And that's what I did. So I did this program called like Alternative Certification. Did that that summer, passed the Praxis test, and next thing you know, I was Mr. Augustine. Math teacher. Math teacher for what grade? Sixth grade. And then I taught life skills. I'm sorry, I taught math for eighth grade and I taught life skills to sixth graders. And that was in New Orleans? No, that was in Baton Rouge where I went to school at. I went okay. To but you're from New Orleans? I'm from the Hano. So why did you choose uh, to work in Baton Rouge instead of New Orleans? It was comfortable at the time. I had been living in Baton Rouge for four years going to college. So I, all of my adult life was spent living in Baton Rouge at that point. So it was comfortable, it was convenient, um, and it was only an hour away from home. So I could still come home all the time. But now, yeah, it's definitely like a whole different culture. Did you incorporate hip hop or your rap um, career while you were a teacher, or was that separate and kids didn't know that? They didn't know it at first. Um, I kept it a secret. I didn't really. Uh, I didn't really want them to look at me as the, the rapper that's trying to teach us something. I wanted them to say, no, this is a young. That's tough. Being a rapper and and trying to go into teaching, what are you showing the students? Like he said, he didn't want to have them see him just as a rapper trying to be a teacher. But I would argue using something like rap and art, artistry, the culture, and bringing it into the classroom might help students learn more, right? How can you provide culturally relevant pedagogy, right? That's basically saying, how can you teach students where they are? Some students listen to rap music all the time, right? So why not create a song that talks about finances and you're rapping it or have them create it because it'll help them learn 
how to manage money a little easier because of the rhyme schemes and what they're used to. But again, this is this is a dope uh, interview. Black educated man, and this is Mr. Augustine, who's teaching us, so we respect him. Oh, he raps on the side? Okay, cool, but only after they found this out. So I kept it a secret for about four months, and near the end of my first semester, one of my students, named Michael, I remember he raised his hand, and he was like, Mr. Augustine, I saw somebody that looked just like you on a poster <laughs> outside, and it said D1 or something like that next to it. Like, I promise he looked just like you. And I was like, should I lie to him and just tell him that that's my brother? Or some type of stuff, or just be real. So I told him the truth. He said, man, look, I rap. You know, I've been rapping, and I'm good. And you know, they first thing they did, they was like, man, you probably whack, man. They was like, we pretty sure you whack, matter of fact. They was like, so if you if you want to prove it to us, you got to spit something. So I had to spit it from my whole class just to prove it to them. And I remember the verse I spit. I spit a little quick 16 form, and it was dope, like, I tricked them. I said, look, I'm gonna I'm rap my ABCs for y'all. And they was like, oh, man, your ABCs, they was like, man, this dude lame, man. I told you he was lame, bro. Like, I, I don't like this dude. That's, that's what they were saying. Then I, I spit it, I broke it down, like, you know, you know the boy ABC, I'm all about cash. And I'm always DEF, driving extra fast. Crazy chicks used to dish it, now they talking about their mission, the GHI, them girls have issues. And I did the whole alphabet, breaking it down like that. By the time I finished, I was like, uh, I'm the best, man. I ain't gotta yell it out. But they couldn't understand, so I had to spell it out. <laughs> they was like, woo, trumpet. They was going crazy, man. Caused pandemonium. And all the teachers came running in the class, like, are they fighting? Or like, what, what's going on? Is there a fight in here? And the sequel was out. I was D1 slash Mr. Augustine. Believe that. So after that, did you, did you decide to, to quit the teaching position and just do rap the full full time or? Nope. Nah, I taught, uh, I, I still, I continue to teach. One thing, I didn't want to quit on them in the middle of a school year. So I refused to uh, stop teaching in the middle of the year. And secondly, I wasn't making any money off of uh, music at the time to be able to support myself. So I was putting in more money than what I was making. So. Secondly, I wasn't making any money off of uh, music at the time to be able to support myself. So I was putting in more money than what I was making. So I was like... What he is saying is, it's tough to chase your dreams, right? Sometimes you have to balance your dreams, right? And your passions with paying bills. Sometimes it's not the best decision to go completely broke chasing your dreams, which is tough. It, it's not, I'm not telling you to go broke. I'm not telling you to not chase your dreams. But what I'm saying is this man is literally saying like, I couldn't quit for a couple of reasons. One is I was putting in more money toward my dream than what I was getting out. So I have to have a resource to fund my dream. Don't go broke chasing your dreams. Fund your dreams so you don't go broke. I would like to do it full time, but I still need this job. And secondly, I love this job. So um, it wasn't uh, it wasn't until later that I made the decision that I was going to be able to go ahead on and do this full time. And at the time, let me get something clear, man, for everybody. Let me make sure y'all know something. Like, at the time, this is what faith means. At the time I quit teaching, at the time I chose to quit and I went in there and had that conversation with the principal, I had never gotten paid to do a show in my life. Never. So you're talking about quitting, giving up this stability, this salary, these benefits, and I didn't know what it meant to get paid $100 for a show, you know, to get paid $500, $1,000 for a show. I just did it because at that time I prayed on it, man, and I knew in my heart that like, I really have a voice that needs to be heard by more than just the students I teach in this classroom. And the only way I'm going to do it is by putting it on the line and sacrificing and going at it full time. So that's my path to success. And I'm still, I'm still moving. I'm still grinding. You know what I mean? 
So would you ever go back to teaching? Hey, let me yes, yes. Yeah, I was gonna. I would definitely go back to teaching. Um, it would be in a different capacity. I would like to have my own school next time. You know, because there's a lot of stuff on the administrative side that I disagree with, and I saw that the students are the ones who suffer because of people's greed and people's insecurities as adults and people's ulterior motives. You know, so. I was like, if I did it, I would want it to be as pure of, of a process as possible as far as the teacher to student relationship and with that being taught the curriculum, you know. So I would love to do it in that capacity. Y'all going to the biggest website on the planet. Oh. Turn that down. But that was a dope interview. Uh, it sounded like he was pretty real, raw, and transparent, as my boy likes to say. But it's about his career, right? He chose to understand that he had his talent as a rapper and his passion was also teaching. He married the two. And then at some point in his life and career, he wanted to take that extra step and sacrifice and it paid off for him. It's not that simple and it's not for everyone, but I'm happy that he was able to provide that. If you like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like, share, comment. Um, let me know how it's going. Let me know if you want me to do reactions to other people mainly talking about finances I really want this channel to be filled with reactions that focus on money management personal finance, but I'll drop some um, Reactions that aren't always focused strictly on finance. It could be personal health well-being things like that but again, if you like it, let me know what you think and um, We'll see you soon